Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. So first up, I'm gonna just uh, show you a website. Uh, this guy actually contacted me through email, and uh, I haven't been answering my emails, and uh, I missed out on uh, a lot with this. And uh, I want to apologize, to this guy. First off, I mean, you know, I just didn't get around to it, unfortunately. But I, you know, I checked out the website, and I think it's really cool, guys. You should definitely check it out. I'm not just plugging it because I feel bad or something, but I just think it's, I just think it's cool. I mean, you guys, there's, there's got to be an outlet for you to vent your knife collecting. I mean, otherwise you're going to go insane or drive your girlfriend nuts. So uh, this is called KnifeThursdays.com. Basically, you should, you know, it only open to submissions on Thursdays. And pretty much you just, you know, submit pictures, I guess, of your EDC. I haven't gone through the whole thing. I, I have scanned through it and I thought it was really cool and different than I to share it. And I'm hopefully going to get on here when I get some free time and uh, try to try to put some of my stuff on here. But it's, you know, basically, you know, Basically, got EDC pictures, pretty much, which is awesome. Just, I guess, just anything you want, but only on Thursdays. But you guys, just uh, you know, go to the site. I'll put a link down below, knifethursday.com, and uh, you know, check it out, guys. It's pretty sweet, and it's sponsored by Blade HQ and I believe Knife Center as well. But yeah, you know, some people from the knife community doing some cool shit. So definitely check it out, guys. Anywho's. I got some really epic shit for you tonight, guys. Um, so before I get to that, as I give you a sneak peek just now, um, my buddy Zippo This Knife That is having a knife sale, and uh, I consider the guy like one of one of the one of my founding YouTube knife guys. I mean, he got me into higher end knives pretty much with his Sabenza obsession. Basically, had to go buy one after like you know he made like three thousand videos about it. But he's a good dude, and he's kind of kind of you know, got one foot out of the knife collecting. So uh, he's having a sale and uh, you know, I saw it this morning and I was like, holy shit, like good prices and some sick knives. I mean, he's got Wilson Combat, uh, Sabenza, um, a Tim Galen Custom, reasonable prices. He had a, a Buck Mayo, uh, but I got it, sorry guys. And then uh, a few others and some uh, Sabenza scales and shit, guys. But check those out. I mean, you know, I know, you know, he's probably just trying to sell them, get some extra funds and shit. So the guy's like a uh, hardworking college student. So, you know, check it out, guys. It's good fucking deals, and uh, you know, be helping helping a friend of mine out. So there's kind of a theme here for this video. So you guys saw this the other day. I'm calling this the Fallout treatment uh, because I'm obsessed with that game uh, Fallout. Fallout New Vegas, um, but just kind of like a uh, steampunk, like industrial look. You guys saw this one, and uh, you know, of course, my toad kind of inspired that, uh, which I don't have on me right now. Um, but uh, yeah, I did two today, guys, and they turned out amazing. So this is basically the theme going here, and uh, this this skirmish looks sick as hell, really sick. Uh, but I didn't make the scale on this; I just kind of did the pattern and. Uh, heat colored it and everything and stone washed it, dipped the blade and shit, you know, all that stuff. But th these, I made the scales for them and they are epic. Now the first one, the first one I thought was gonna be like the masterpiece of the day, but then I had to go and spend the next like six hours doing something else. But this one, guys, I love, love this knife. Uh, again, I told you the other day that, um, you know, Vance uses Hocus Pocus to get me to sell mine. So, uh, you know, here's the original. You know, got that aluminum scale, titanium frame lock. It's decent how it comes, but uh, you know, it's got the two-tone blade. But you know, that's he decided to get the fallout treatment to it. So I'll show you first the one side. So you got your acid etch or acid uh, smudged stone wash blade, which looked amazing on this thing. With the uh, the more grind lines, the better. You know, the more different angles, it just looks cooler. It's nice and dark, it's a lot darker in person. Then uh, of course, got the sandblasted, stonewashed uh, hardware, the bronze titanium. And on the other side, full titanium scale, also bronzed, beefy, about twice the thickness of the other side. It's a very, very thin knife. I mean, it's, it's you know, so any any addition onto it is, is definitely welcome. Feels really good, guys. Really good. Very smooth. It's got the bronze stone wash. 
just kind of exaggerated beveling around here. It kind of gives it a kick-ass look to it. I went deep with the beveling just to yeah, just give it a more comfortable feel. You got the brown backspacer. Kind of like a dirty brown. Kind of like messier. I kind of purposely made it messier so it was a little bit more gnarly looking. Uh, pocket clip is also acid etched or acid, whatever the fuck, acid stone wash. I don't know. What do you want to call it? But uh, I love the way this looks, guys. It looks insane. And I love the bronze. I think I'm going to be keeping this type of theme going with a lot of my uh, customized when I start getting into that. You know, making them more kind of like this and then the super flashy one. I mean, those two 67s I did uh, a few weeks back uh, basically just set my brain into overdrive. Uh, the one was like super shiny and just like really, really nice looking, but uh, like way over the top is still clean. That's kind of like the other version. It's kind of like opposite ends of the spectrum. So you got like dirty and grimy, which I like more, but then the other one, you know, just blinged out and shit. Nice and smooth. Great knife, guys. Yeah, the titanium work's getting a little bit easier. Not much, but you know, it's it's a it's a pain in the ass. But I've gotten it down to like a process, so it, you know, it's not it's not killing me. But, it, you know, it's still a pain in the ass. But I do love, I mean, the result, you know, it just makes the knife, you know, the value shoot up and just, like, the feel of it. You know, just, everybody just wants, you know, full titanium. Just awesome, guys. I mean, can't go wrong. Yes, yeah, so we got the nice double monster knives here. Quick report, guys. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, I've been using it. I cut some sandpaper with it. Still pretty damn sharp too. It's a little bit crusty there in the edge. Got some food with it. Very smooth, uh, despite what everybody's saying about you know you press here it moves the lock, which is not not happening on mine. But you know I'm sure if you go looking for problems, you're gonna find them, guys. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, you guys love you know people love to pick apart the knives. I mean you know some problems with knives is are never gonna develop into anything that's any type of issue. So. Just enjoy them, unless it's an albatross or something like that, or a boker that sucks, but yeah, I like this thing a lot. I definitely, definitely recommend it, guys. Worth the money. And I uh, also sold this guy. It's gone. Um, still got this one. Uh, did sell it, but I'm waiting on seeing if this guy wants, you know, if you want to pay PayPal. It's what I prefer, so I can, you know, fund, you know, making the rest of the toads. But as far as the war toads go, you're not. I'm not going to be selling them like readily, like for a while. So I mean, I'm going to be making them for Blade HQ, and maybe a, a an odd one here and there. So, um, but these are going to be. I'm going to be making these though. So these are great. I love them. Feels really nice. So anyway, finally, this epicness here. I like that word. Manix 2 XL, great knife. Um, this one belongs to uh, Shannon Long Colt. Shenanigans. I don't know his name. I'll put a link to his channel down below, guys. He's a good guy. He's been uh, sending me stuff for a long time, so you know, I like to take care of my uh, frequent customers. Uh, he's a good person, even though he uh, points out all my flaws on everything I do. But you know, it's cool. I guess you need someone there to uh, keep you grounded. But this is just sick, guys. Just sick as hell. So you got, of course, going with the theme here. Uh, the logo stays on the spider codes when they got these deep etched ones. It's, it's harder to get rid of it, so I kind of kept it there because it looks nice. So you got the acid washed blade looking real good. He wanted this to look like real gnarly and rough. And then you got full titanium, bronze, stone wash, scales on both sides. I 
hardware is sandblasted. Uh, the liners are kept sandblasted. Pod clip acid dipped. Backspacer was crazy. It was acid etched. Or uh, I'm having trouble with with what to call this. Acid stone wash, we'll say, uh, with a pattern on it, and uh, then bronzed. With a really crazy look to it. And then uh, you know heat bronze the. Uh, standoff and the lanyard tube which comes out with a nice nice ring of bronze around there right near the titanium a little bit darker or brighter gold but uh, I've handled so many Maxes in my life this is definitely by far the coolest one I mean I never even thought to do titanium on this guy see the centering is perfect and it's just got like just really smooth and this nice like click love it and this thing I mean this Manix 2 XL is the heaviest Manix 2 XL in the world right <laughs> this thing weighs a ton and a half but I really like it I mean it's just uh, you know it's like a it's like a custom complete custom I mean you can't go wrong I mean I wish I I kind of wanted to really want to do uh, you know get a machine made titanium uh, button here but you know that'd be expensive and hard to do so but you know I think it looks beautiful kind of like the holes and beveling around the holes kind of rough I could easily make that nice and smooth, like the pivot is. But Almost like gold flakes. Feels real good. I put the a uh, little bit exaggerated around here, you know, for that really smooth feel right here and here. It's very comfortable. very happy with this one guys very 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 happy both of these actually all three of them but these two are just I just love them so fallout treatment ain't cheap though I mean, working with titanium is, yeah, this is six hours right here. This one was a good four hours. Uh, maybe a little bit less for both, but, you know, give or take, with some breaks in between. Some two hour breaks, three hour breaks, you know. I'm just kidding. Well, you guys, that's, that's what I got for you tonight. And, uh, check out the links below. Check out that, uh, Knife Thursday. Just seems really freaking sweet, guys. I'm probably gonna post something up there. It is Tuesday. My crappy watch. Yeah, I wear this watch all the time because it's my shit watch. You can see there's sandblasted all around here, but it's holding up pretty damn good. Um, I like it. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great night. Peace.